Hope y'all have a fantastic day today because you already know your boy Kari is having a fantastic day. Today, I'm going to be telling y'all what it's like to work at FedEx while I eat this sweet and sour chicken. It's about to be good. But I'm not wearing a damn hat the whole time, so shit. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Do we so in the building? Gazer, gazer. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to take that nigga shit. I was just being stupid. But look, y'all. I'm gonna just try to make a quick video just to give y'all some information about FedEx and what it was like, what it's like to work there. And this is for people who are about to work there, who wanna work there, or who just overall just interested or whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna really try to edit the video too much, man. I'm kinda tired. I gotta go work in a little bit, so that's gonna be part of it. But let's get started. <sighs> Take a quick bite, real quick. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Man, so good. But one thing I want to say about FedEx, and I hope nobody takes this disrespectfully or in any type of way. FedEx is a great job. Um, and I work for FedEx Freight, to be exact. It's different, just so y'all know. There's ground, there's express, and there's freight, and there might be something else, but. I work at FedEx Freight. So, what is it like to work at FedEx Freight? So, first of all, it's an absolute pain in the goddamn ass. And that's the first thing I gotta say. My shift starts at midnight. And it's some absolute bullshit. But, one thing is for sure, and that's the fact that I get paid pretty decently. For someone who doesn't have a freaking degree or anything like that, so one thing I can say about it, the, the pay is well, the pay is good, whatever. So that y'all may know that already, and y'all may not. The pay is good. I'm gonna be revealing exactly how much I make towards the end of the video, but I'm gonna just explain a little, a few, a few things for y'all. Um, they do drug tests, like for the interview process and stuff like that. They probably won't drug test me now, like after I got a job or nothing like that. But y'all know how it is. That's pretty much any job, obviously. But um, yeah, it's pretty easy, man. My daily duties: I literally ride on a forklift, and I fucking load and I unload trailers and shit like that. I mean, it's quite easy, man. Uh, they train you on the forklift and stuff, so if you don't know how to do it, it don't matter. So quite easy. Um. And that's pretty, that's literally it. I unload and I load trailers. I barely have to get off the forklift. 90% of my job is on the forklift, so I'm sitting down, chilling the whole time. Um, I think the hardest part about it is, for one, it's overnight, so that's fucking hard. Like, just just the being tired throughout the week and stuff like that. And then even on the weekend, I still be kind of tired, but you get to catch on rest a little bit because you got more time and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But... Yeah. Um another thing <clears throat> um it's just uh I don't know. It's just I think the main problem is just the overnight thing, obviously, because like your your schedule is literally just thrown off, bro. Like man, it kinda messes you up for like during the day because you'll be like hella drowsy during the day and stuff like that and like maybe you won't be able to go to sleep. Like me personally I ain't gonna be able to go to sleep after I get home. I probably get, I start at twelve and I probably get off around eight thirty, nine o'clock, depending on how much work we got. Sometimes you get off a little bit earlier, but that's cool too. Um, yeah, so it's not a bad job. Like the 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 actual job itself, what we doing is very easy. You pretty much independent. You work on your own and stuff like that. Um, nobody really bother you unless like you you fucking up. <laughs> And if you fucking up, obviously, at any job, somebody gonna come in and be like, hey, man, you fucking up. So that's obvious. I can't forget this part. One other thing that is really a pain in the goddamn ass is um, just the fact that when it's cold, boy, your ass gonna be cold because you basically outside because you literally in a little place where it's just hundreds of trailer doors. It's like at least 300 trailer doors. Or whatever just going around a whole fucking building and they do have like an inside building whatever where they have a warmth and stuff and they have the break room and all that and 
I ain't gonna lie. I be chilling when it's cold, bit sometimes. I be, cause man, it's cold, bro. When it's 30 degrees outside and you're on a forklift, the wind is hitting your face, you gotta have your hoodie tight as fuck. And they do provide you with clothing and stuff like that. As you can see, I got the FedEx shirt. Um, let me show y'all something real quick. <clears throat> Give y'all like this little jumpsuit right here, you know what I'm saying? To you know, make sure y'all warm, but that shit don't really work. That shit ain't doing nothing. I might as well be out there just like this, just how I am. Cause that's I still be fucking cold with shorts and a shirt on. So either way it don't matter, you're gonna be cold as fuck. But I guess that keeps you less cold. I don't know. But yeah, man, the two main negative factors are the weather and just the fact that it's overnight. Shit is terrible. Um but the good thing about it is no matter who you are if you are working for fedex freight not fedex ground because them niggas be slaving over there fedex freight they hook you up with a starting salary of twenty dollars and seventy cents an hour yes i said it twenty dollars and seventy cents and that's probably the most i ever gotten paid man starting out at least you know what i'm saying well yeah but yeah, and they um, give you raises. Um, I think they said at after three years or whatever, you'll be topped out at, at the pay. I think it's like 26 or $27, so that's pretty good. But um, yeah, man, like I said, it's as far as what the job is, not too bad. But the times you have to work and the weather, it's just bullshit, man. Overnight, hey man, if you work overnight, bro, Please do not stay. Get in and get out. <laughs> I'm telling you, you don't want to. Some people can do it, and I don't know how the hell they do it. But God bless y'all because y'all some real OGs, and I ain't doing it. I can't do it for that long. So I'm trying to stay here for as long as possible because you're getting good money. But hey, man, I'm trying to finish school. I'm trying to get rich off, off YouTube. Forget FedEx, man. My opinion get in, get out, explode in something else. So. FedEx is not bad. I'm not trying to hate on FedEx. I actually think it's a pretty good place to work. At FedEx Freight, I don't know about nothing else. Don't ask me about nothing else. I don't know. But FedEx Freight is a good place to work. So if you want to apply at FedEx Freight, I think you should do it. And they probably always hiring because they said that the turnover rate is high. Because I guess because it's overnight and stuff like that. So people are like, I'm not trying to like stay in here like that. Because they, you know, you, you know, you get what I'm saying. But yeah, guys. So. I appreciate you guys for watching the video, man. I hope I helped you guys out. Man, this, uh, I'm about to really buzz down. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, snap. Mmm. I'm about to really get it in now. Now that I'm done making the video. I just had to make it real quick, man. We're going up this year. 2021, a year for the family. Fantastic family. Let's make it happen. I love y'all, man. Peace.